What's up, Treasure Cove? Hey, everybody, I'm Lauren. And I'm Liz, and we are so glad you decided to join us today. High fives all around. High fives! High five. Liz, high five. Lauren. That was good. <laughs> we are so excited you're here. We do miss seeing your sweet faces in person, but how cool is it that we get to experience Treasure Cove in our homes? It's so cool. I'm so thankful for TC on your TV or whatever device you're using. Like TC on your iPhone or TC on your iPad or TC on your Xbox 360. Or really TC on whatever device you have. Right. And guys, today is going to be so super fun. But before we play our game, there are some items that we're gonna need from around the house before we play Sticky Rollers. Uh, yeah, and kids, you should make sure to ask your parents permission before you play this game. Right, Liz, good idea. Ask your parents permission, but here are the items that we're gonna need to play Sticky Rollers. You're gonna need two containers, like a box or a bin or a bucket. You're gonna need some tape, like masking tape or painter's tape. And the last item you need is going to be something that's lightweight, and that's it. So kids, go get the items for our game. Ready, set, go! All right, parents, while your kids are getting those items, we just wanna encourage you. You are doing a great job leading your kids spiritually. And remember, we are just here to help you as you guide your kids to put their faith in Jesus. Right, parents. It is so incredible what you're doing, watching Treasure Cove with your kids. It is such a huge win for them. Oh, and one last thing before we get started, remember to like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and um, yep, don't forget to check out the link in our show notes for more fun ideas on how to help your kids grow in their faith and serve the Lord. All right, everybody ready? I'm ready. I'm ready too. Let's go.
welcome to Treasure Cove or TC on your TV. I hope you guys are having a good day. It is time for my favorite part of the morning where we get to give a shout out to God. And this is going to be the biggest booyah ever. I am so sure. We're going to give it on three. Make sure you have a good stance. You should be standing. And we're going to give a shout out on three. A one, two, three. Booyah! Woo! See, I knew it. Best booyah ever. Guys, this month we are talking all about determination. And determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. So now, also a good part of the morning, we get to pray. Dear God, thank you so much for today, for this day that you've given that we can learn about you, learn how we can be determined. Lord, would you help all of us in this time to focus on you? We praise you. In your name we pray. Amen. So we're going to learn more about determination later today with an awesome story about two guys. But before we do that, it's time to get on your feet because we get to worship. Hey everyone, I'm Ashlyn. I am one of the worship leaders at the Norfolk campus. We are missing seeing you all in person, but we are so thankful that we're able to worship anytime we want at home. And that's kind of cool. I wanted to share this Bible verse with you, with you all because our God is amazing. He is good and he is with us all the time. Jesus taught us how to pray and I'm going to read it to you right now. It's from Matthew chapter 6 verse 10 and it says, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is the NIV version. With this verse in mind, that means that God can work through us when we choose to live his way. So let's sing and praise him together because he is loving, he is caring, and God is amazing. Who breaks the power of sin and darkness? Whose love is mighty and so much stronger? The King of glory, the King above all kings. Who shakes the whole earth with holy thunder? Who leaves us breathless in all who wander? The King of glory, the King above all kings. This is amazing grace. This is a failing love They you would take my place They you would bear my cross You lay down your life Then I would be set free Oh, Jesus, I see you for all that you've done for me Who brings our chaos back into order? Who makes the orphan a son and daughter? The King of Glory, the King of Glory Who rules the nations with truth and justice Shines like the sun in all of its brilliance The King of Glory, the King above all kings yeah. This is amazing grace This is a failing love That you would take my place That you would bear my cross Praise 
always start things like this. I don't know why. Hey, welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm John, and that's Brandon. Yes, I am. During today's show, anytime anyone asks a question, a bucket of something will be dumped on their head. Brandon, tell everyone all the shenanigans we're going to get into today. You bet, John. First, we got a someone who knows stuff. A boom! We got Kellen with an awesome Bible story. Double boom! Puppet Head Theater. Triple boom! And... Wait, wait, wait. wait. What comes after triple boom? Uh... Quadruple. Right. Yeah, quadruple. Boom. Thanks, Brandon. No problem, John. See, why did a bucket of rice just get dumped on my head? Uh... <laughs> what was it that time? Uh... Powdered sugar. Shredded cheese. I think I know what's happening. Oh yeah? What's happening? Uh... I think every time we ask a question, something gets poured on our head. I see. Yeah, but how do we, uh, you know, I mean, how... Uh, we ask questions all the time. We, we, we might as well not do the show if we can't ask questions. I know, but what about... Uh, uh, people are counting on us to do the show. Yeah. Some of uh, the things we do on the show really matter. I mean, it's, it's, it's not always about having baked beans dubbed on your head. You know what I mean? Oh, no. Uh... <sighs> you're right, let's call it a day. No, no, you're right. We have got to keep going. Just. Don't ask any questions. I'll try. Why was it? Nope, not gonna ask it. I've got it. It's time for someone who knows stuff. Oh. Come on in here, okay, to grab that. Have a seat. Yeah. Yeah. Man, pull on in. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, there we so. go. 
<laughs> yes, yes. Thank you for coming to the show today. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm very excited. Uh huh. So, who are you? We we would like to know your name and your area of expertise. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, so, my name is Dr. Ira Viscus, uh, and I'm here to answer any questions that you might have regarding chemical reactions. So, ask away. Uh, you go first, Brandon. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to, John. Yeah. Thank you. Dr. Viscous, mm. do you have what I mean to say? You do have mm. a favorite chemical reaction that you like to demonstrate on occasion. I presume. Ah, mm. Mm, I do. <laughs> you do? Okay. <laughs> of course, now I, now I like all chemical reactions. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're, they're wonderful. However, my favorite kind are the ones that create slime. <laughs> oh, no kidding. What kind of slime? Uh, well, no. Oh, this is really good slime. It's the perfect consistency to drop on someone's head. <laughs> Terrific. Yeah, you see, the, the, the thicker slimes, they don't drop as fast, and they're pretty hard to get out of your hair, so you huh. keep it short. Oh, yeah. hey, uh, do you have any, uh, I mean, what I mean to ask, what it say, mm. is uh, in, in there, mm. in the, uh, mm. there, there's slime in there. God, oh, there is some slime in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's, that's great, great. Oh, awesome, what kind is this? Uh, what? Oh! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, very nice. This is called the fluffy slime. It's created when you mix polyvinyl acetate with good old fashioned shaving cream. Feel it, it's very squishy. That's great. Oh, yeah, see, look at really it. Pulls like that and go bounces. Yeah. <laughs> and this one here, this is the classic slime, you see. It's amazing what a little sodium borate can do. Look at that. It's, oh, it's gooey. It's bleak. Yeah. <laughs> How long? Uh, uh, it must have taken you a long time to learn all this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Lots of time, lots of school, lots of hard work and study. But when something's important to you, it's worth it for, for you to keep going, you know? So do you know what I mean? Uh... Oh, that's awesome! I love the slime! I love the slime! I, uh, I think I understand, Brandon. Yeah? We gotta make it through this show! It's worth it! Yeah! We've come this far, let's do it! Yes! Thanks for coming on the show, Dr. Viscus! Oh, you're welcome! It's my pleasure! I love the slime! Oh, and you can keep those! <laughs> wow, thanks! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, goodbye! Bye, Bye, see ya! <laughs> Hope you can see me! <laughs> Goodbye! Uh, uh, so, what, what happens, happens next? Uh, it's, it's Bible, Bible story, time story time with Kellen! Hey guys! Whoa! That was not what I was expecting. I don't know, seems pretty normal to me. Yeah, all right. Well, I was gonna ask for your help to tell the Bible story, but if you're too slimy, oh, we're, we're good. good. Great. Then it's time for Human Head Puppet Theater. Sometime after Jesus had been crucified, resurrected, and taken up to heaven, Two followers of Jesus named Peter and John went to the temple to pray. Well, it's prayer time, John. We're almost at the temple. Hold on a minute. Look over there. As John and Peter were nearing the temple, they saw a man who had never been able to walk. Change? Spare some change for a poor man? I don't have any silver or gold, but I can give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. That's the problem. Oh, you can now, that, that's what I'm trying to say. Tell him, John. Uh, 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 oh. Whoa. 
Whoa! I can walk! Look at that! I can also jump! Whoa! And, and, and I can, I can dance! I'll go Jesus, I'll go Jesus, I'll go Jesus, you're the best! Sure. So the man followed Peter and John into the temple courtyard. People saw him walking and jumping and praising God and were amazed because they knew it was the same man who used to sit and beg at the temple gate. So Peter turned to the gathering crowd and said, I don't know why you're surprised. It's not as if we've made this man walk. The God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has done this. Tell him, John. When Jesus died on the cross, God raised him from the dead. We saw it with our own eyes. Tell him, John. It is faith in Jesus that has healed this man completely. And now you can see that with your own eyes. Watch. Go Jesus, go Jesus. Go Jesus, go Jesus. I may never stop dancing. Whoa. The priests of the temple were very upset with what Peter and John were saying about Jesus coming back from the dead. So they had them arrested and thrown into prison. The next day, Peter and John were brought to the high priest. You can't just go around healing people and talking about Jesus like that. Listen, when you nailed Jesus to a cross, God raised him from the dead. It is through Jesus' name that the man was healed. You can't be saved by believing in anyone else. Tell him, John. Now you listen. You must never, 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 ever, 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 ever speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Don't do it. All right, let me think. Listen to you, listen to God. Listen to you, the high priest, or listen to God, the creator of the universe with the ability to bring someone back from the dead. That's a tough choice. Wait, no, it's not. Is that a tough choice, John? Uh. No, there is nothing else that we can do. Uh. We have to speak about what we've seen and heard. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, you should definitely be punished, though. I, I, I don't know how yet, but I'm going to think really hard about it. Now get out! Get out! The high priest wanted to punish Peter and John, but they didn't want to upset the people who were still amazed at how God healed the man who couldn't walk. Dance party! Oh, yeah! Uh, 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 uh. Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Show me your moves, John, go! Woo, right back at me! The end. You guys, take a bow, great story. My pleasure. Good job, John. Thanks for your help. Man, John and Peter were so determined. You know, I think they'd keep going no matter what happened to them. Absolutely. They were going to tell everyone they came into contact with what they had heard Jesus say and what they had seen Jesus do. Right. Because when something's important, it's worth it to keep going even when it gets tough. I couldn't have said it better myself. Well, that's all I got. Unless, do you guys need anything else? Uh... Nope. We don't need anything else, Kellen. Good. You could have warned me. Yeah. Bye, Kellen. All right. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Kellen got slimed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you? Uh, oh. I mean, why? Uh, Tell me your thoughts. I know what's coming next. Uh, oh, 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 you mean? Yeah. Reveal, Reveal the, the question. question. How are we supposed to, I, I mean, I mean, we can't say that without the, ew, ew. I know. Oh, wait, I've got it. What? What keeps you from finishing what you start? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Is it a difficult math problem? Is it that you don't think you're big enough, or smart enough, or strong enough? Talk about it together. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. We made it! Yeah, we should do it this way every time. No! Oh, okay. Treasure 
Cove. How's it going? My name is Amy. If you don't know who I am, I'm a worship leader at the nine o'clock service. Um, I miss you guys so, so much. I miss singing and dancing with you guys, doing fun skits with you guys, having small group time and large group time, and just getting to know you guys and hang out with you. I really, really, truly miss it, and I can't wait to get back to it. But I just wanted to pop in here and give you some encouragement and to remind you that God is so wonderful. God is so good. He is so faithful, and He's all-knowing. And um, if you would open up your Bibles with me to Galatians 6, 9, I have a verse for us. It says, let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. I think this verse is so wonderful and just fits in with the season of shelter in place. Guys, God is good and he is protecting us and he's always going to look out for us no matter what. So we just have to stay strong and not give up. Why don't you guys stand on up and dance with me to this next song. have I got a game for you. You can play it later with your family, but before that, let me tell you how it works. All you need is two buckets and something sticky. So you can either have a roll of tape, a lint roller, or really any sort of tape. So here's how it works. You take tape and wrap it around your hand, sticky side out, and try to pick up as many small objects as you can, and without touching this hand, bring it to the other side of the room, to the other bucket, and then you can use your hand to take off the small objects. The goal of the game is to get as many objects as you can in the other bucket in one minute. Great news, we've got someone who's gonna show us how to play the game. Take it away. 
Good morning, Grace Bible Church family. This is the Winkle family. My name is Casey, and these are my two daughters slash contestants, Tessa right here and Amelia right over here. And we're going to demo a game for you today called Sticky Rollers. As you can see, my contestants have taped hands. We opted for painter's tape, but you could use um, a lint roller, a lint roller tape, masking tape, duct tape, your choice. Um, and I've got two bins here, one here and then actually one behind me. This one has um, some light plastic objects inside of it, um, like uh, ping pong balls and wiffle balls and even Easter eggs. Uh, but you could try a couple other things too as well, maybe Legos or beads. And I'm gonna set this bin over here. The contestants are gonna line up behind it and they're gonna go one by one trying to pick up these objects with their sticky hands, not using their other one, and take it down to the other bin, shake it off as hard as they can and try to fill up that other bin as quickly as possible. I'm gonna give them 30 seconds and I think they could probably fill it up pretty good. What do you think? All right, on the count of three, Line up contestants. One, two, three. Go girls! They did a really good job, just like I knew they would. So, good job girls, have fun at home, giving it a try, take care. Hey families, it's me, Lauren, the 11 a.m. production coordinator at the Lynn Haven campus. It's so great to experience TC on your TV while we're sheltering in place. I really miss you all, but I really love learning about determination together. Determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. All right, guys, you're doing such a great job leading your kids and families to Jesus. And just like last week, we've got a family challenge for you. As a family, play sticky rollers and post your pictures or videos on our Treasure Cove at Grace Bible Church Facebook group. And in case you're wondering, yes, there will be a prize for the most epic version of sticky rollers. We can't wait to see your family in action. Remember, keep going even when it gets tough. All right, families, check out the link in our show notes to find all sorts of fun ideas, devotions, and activities to continue the fun and learning at home. So that's a wrap for us today. I'll see you next week on TC on your TV. But before we go, let's take one last look at our bottom line. Keep going, even when it gets tough. And it can be tough, but keep going. So long. My heart beats.